Hey everyone, the Mousy Gamer, and welcome back to Eldest Souls. In the last video, we uh, completed the DLC of the Forgotten Depths, or the Depths of the Forgotten. And uh, it's now time to finish this adventure by coming here to the Steps of the Ascension. And depending on which of the uh, key blessings that you end up get, either the uh, blessed uh, Hunter's Charm or I guess the uh, whatever this is supposed to turn into you'll get a different conversation with uh, the bard here which I am going to try and defeat this boss with this wait yeah with this setup but that the last boss I fought Yeah, he was such a pain to deal with, and one of the reasons why he was such a pain was he had all these little minions that kept popping up, which I had to get rid of, otherwise they would kill me during the events when I couldn't ring the bells. So you guys got to see a shortened version of me fighting that monstrosity as the best I could with what I had available on hand. And now let's finish this off. This game has made me very, very tired. The Temple of Ascension. This is going to be interesting. Hmm. Everything looks like the way I want it. Did pretty good there. Let's try again. Okay. Gonna run. Uh. 
Nope. Wasn't so bad. What are you trying to take from me? sort of ego blade. Lifeless peace. Till time's end. Yeah, I'm sure there's different endings depending on which uh, relics you acquire. So, I might go see what the other endings are with the other relics. This is gonna be a interesting scenario with what shows up at the end of this. I'll see you guys when I have that all figured out. Good game, good music, but the fact that I couldn't level up my uh, skill trees without defeating the bosses, and some of the bosses just plain out, plain sucked. So, yeah. Mm -hmm.
New game plus. Cycle begins new. You will keep your progress and continue stre strengthening your shards and gain more talent points. Be wary, however, as your foes may have gotten new and stronger attacks since the last time you faced them, and the curse of the eldest become becometh more stronger. Uh, curse of the eldest. Plus damage taken. Healing received. Enemy HP up. Alright. Thank you for that. Get a, another one of those ending items. There it is. Interact. Uh, do you want to harness the power of the empty vessel? Yes. Vessel of fluid fire. Now, if I take this back to the, uh... what are you gonna give me? Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give Vessel of Liquid Fire? Yeah, sure. Ah, yes, what mighty wicked flames. Can you feel their heat? As a rock tar will surely feel the warmth as well. You have our thanks, but our quest is not done yet. The rock tar still slumbers. Go forth with our blessing now, and purge the wicked from within these walls, Inquisitor. Oh, it's definitely on fire now. And now I have a, uh... Kindled Heart of Fire. Uh, healing charges the Heart of Fire up to 35 HP. When fully charged up, it explodes for 250% of the healing accumulated. Hmm. Add that onto the Berserker, uh... Build I'm currently using. And... That's scary. Blah, blah, blah. Give him back the crown. That sword of yours. And your armor. Uh, let's improve the armor this time and see what you have to say. Reinforced plating. Make sure to come back if you ever need some quality blacksmithing done. Alright, and I do have an item I would like to take have you take a look at. Uh-huh. Hmm. Yeah, no. Alright, so... Our new item, if you pick the armor to be upgraded, uh, after taking minus 10% health, after taking damage, minus 10% damage taken for 5 seconds. They could also be very useful for uh, this build, I have to say. A spark of fanaticism within you all along, didn't you, friend? You've chosen a path of fire, and yet it won't lead to light. I truly wonder. I truly wonder if the new world will be one worth living in. Not that either of us will survive the flames to see it. What a fool you are!
right, here we go yet again. Let it all burn, so that from the ashes of the old, the new world is reborn. All right. All right. Show the hunter's charm. Fear not, the forest will live on. Okay, so... Now we talk to you, yet again. A sense of change within the forest. The old one is no more, and yet I can feel part of its spirit with a new child. And yet, these woods remain corrupted. The sacred altars are spoiled and defiled. I fear only the power of the old one could have restored them. Uh, potency to cleanse them. If only there was a vessel. Alright. Yes, I'll use the empty vessel. This little wild. Hmm, that vessel. Yes, I see. Min's cunning always surprised me. Such a devious device. And yet, I ought to commend you, Hunter. Your duty remains the same, no matter the means. Use the vessel to cleanse the sacred shrines. Okay. Here's one. Alright. Here's one over here. You sense the corruption fading from the stones. So far, so good. Last one. You sense the corruption fading from the stones. I think that's all of them. Is that all of them? Ah, the force breathes again, and so do I. Can you feel it, Hunter? The winds of change are finally blowing through the leaves. You've cleansed the forest, and for this, you have my eternal gratitude. And yet, darker things lurk within these walls, and the sprouts need time to grow. May you go with my blessing and cleanse the dark. And we have the Hunter's Blessing. Taking less... Taking at least 30 damage within... Causes a wild burst around you. Healing for 25... Percent HP can only trigger once every 45 seconds. That's not bad. What do you have to say, Bard? You've chosen the old path, then. To have civilization falter, humanity agrees. Humanity regress to its primal state. And for what sacred trees? 
You've forgotten your own kind. And I guess there's some irony to be found there for two traitors to face each other. And let the world sprout and flourish, without the burden of the scourge of man. Okay. Well, I'm here at the crossroads, and I figured out where the uh, other quest is. So... Hi. Crow Lord Darken. Kaka. Say, child, the effigy might you be a faithful one? What a joyous day. A joyous day in indeed. Speak truthfully, then, child of men. Do you wish for the world to be reborn? Uh... Yes. I'll say yes. But actually, I want to know what he does if I say no. An unholy man walks with a holy relic. What sadness you have brought us. Child, move along now and die with the rest of your kind. Okay, so he doesn't kill me. Alright, fair enough. Then I'll hand it over. What joy, truly, what joy you have brought us. But it is known. Actions speak louder than mere words. The deep altar is broken, unusable. It will need power, ancient power, to be repaired. Find the purest light, child of man, and bring it back to us. For it is known the brightest light casts the darkest shadows. Yes? Okay. I'll go do that. Um, are you going to put it here, or take it away to some other location? Alright, so... I'll keep that in mind. Alright, so... If we come back here where... Ezekiel... was... we'll get the Vessel of Light. Now I gotta go return this to the crow. Hey there. The deep altar is broken. Blah blah blah. Blah blah. Cast the darkest shadows, yes? Gives the Vessel of Light. Is that? Well done. Well done indeed, child. Truly a show of faith. Yes, give it here, now. The Deep One stirs. Can you feel it, child? Sure. Time is running out, but thanks to the altar, we can hear the oldest one again. Have our blessing, child. All right. Um... Okay... The Abyssal Eye... So the, uh, little raven became an actual raven. Okay. If we, uh... Tell this guy 
know on helping him. This is what happens. Time inexorable goes by, and yet your kind remains whatever, and he kills me. So what does this guy do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're creepy. So if I don't pledge, what do you do? A shame. Such a shame indeed. Those who won't serve the Bright One will instead perish. With this, I'm going to show off the different weapons and what they look like. We have the Kingsguard, which does a fighting style a resource gain by of an extra 3% damage taken, minus 30%. Movement speed is minus 15. It's basically a shield stuck with a sword through it, from the look of it. Okay. Then we have the Executioner. Uh, damage dealt plus 30%. Movement speed is minus 10. Damage taken is an extra 25. Big ol' X. Then we have the uh, Wind Dancer, which is a katana. And it's a uh, charred speed and attack speed plus 25%, movement speed plus 20, damage taken plus 15, that's negligible. Then the saint's hand, it's just a freaking hammer. And it's active shard damage dealt plus 50, active shard recharge time plus 25. Is minus 25. Fighting style resource gain is minus 20. So, yeah. Then you have your plain weapon, which is just, yeah. Alright, and what do you have to say this time? You've chosen the darkest of paths, my friend. I'm afraid you won't. Take kindly to your new master. Surely not once he awakens fully and discards you, like my companions here. I have nothing else to give you besides my pity. And let the gods of old be consumed and forgotten, till the eldest son awakened at last. You've chosen the path of balance. To have both strength and wisdom is not a common thing among your kind. Among our kind. Tower of Dawn is pleased with your efforts, and yet one more task remains. Leaving him to his con conjuring will be a calamity. It is much to ask, but I ought to, regardless, face the traitor and foil his plans, no matter the cost. Let the ancient balance be restored as the world is re restored. And with that, we have completed, I believe, uh, all of the uh, endings for Eldest Souls. And all that's left now is the arena, which we'll take care of in the next video. So until then, see you guys.